Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I know the next video was supposed to be the differential but I got a urgent email from a guy and this is the fifth problem this month that's identical. He sent me a, a video of it and I'm going to show you his problem and then I'm going to tell you and him what to do to fix this mess. So here we go. Jim, here's the problem. See that loose? Take the clutch off. What do I do? This is the third, or I'm sorry, the fifth one. So, we got a rash of loose nuts, I think. <laughs> I, that just came out. <laughs> well, I work with a bunch of nuts, so <laughs> that just came out wrong. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now, you're, um, you, oh, God. You want to take the center nut off of your clutch disc assembly. The clutch disc itself is okay, probably. It's either the, the assembly that's shot or it's your sprocket and shaft that is bad. Now the last guy that had this problem, his hub <clears throat> still had the key in it. So he could hang on to this to get this big nut loose. I would use a pair of channel locks, vice grips, um, anything big to grab this whole assembly with. Because chances are it's shot at that point in that video. You want to hang on to this and you can let it swing down until it hits the brake or the bottom of the chain case and unscrew this big nut. I take a ratchet. At this point, don't use an impact. Break that nut loose and get it off. Now, if your assembly is spinning because you uh, sheared the key off and it became loose, then you can't do that. What you're going to want to do is take your boot off on one side or the other. Preferably, probably this side, because you're going to be working on this side with a ratchet to get this nut off. Let me move this down. You're going to be working on this side with a ratchet, so I would take this side off. You want to get yourself a large crescent wrench. Um, this is a one inch hexagon shaft. You do not want to mar that up or hurt it in any way. Uh, I have a half inch, or half inch, I have a one inch wrench that would fit on here, but the width of the wrench is narrower than this is. I want to get all the surface tension on here I can to keep from hurting this shaft. So move your boot back. Put that wrench on that shaft and tighten it up good so it doesn't clunk back and forth and spin this nut off. Hopefully you didn't break the chain too because if that happened you're going to have to take the chain case off and tear it apart to get just to get this off. So once you get that nut off of there, clamp the uh, clutch open. I've got a little bar I use. I stick up under here. That holds it neutral. I can slide the clutch disc assembly off the entire thing. Now what I'm guessing happened to his is this hole has chewed itself out or he's hurt the shaft. It probably started by shearing this little woodruff key off. It, <laughs> there's not much to that. It's just a little half moon key. 
that goes in that shaft. And then this assembly goes over it. So that's about all you got to do. Now hopefully your shaft is okay. And you can just order this assembly. You don't need the cover because none of this stuff comes with it. It's all sold separate. You don't need this cover plate. You don't need that thrust washer in there. And you don't need the clutch disc. That spins loose. Them things will be fine. You don't have to buy the four nuts. But you will have to pick up this assembly. Now if this shaft is hurt, you're going to have to take the chain case off and split it open and take it apart. I've got one over here. Let me grab it. Okay, here's the one off my boss's machine that we've been working on. This one is called your sprocket and shaft. Now if we can get this separated, his is $25 for this shaft, but it's different than mine. I might as well pull it right on out of here. Show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Now, his is different than mine. Mine has the brake on the back side. His has no way of bolting it on. His strictly uses this goofy little shoe brake that I don't like. Mine has a band brake. These are a hundred times better than these things. But hopefully, hopefully this shaft is okay, but as bad as that was wobbling around, I got a feeling you're going to have to buy this clutch disc assembly and that shaft. Getting it in there is not that big of a deal. Um, the last video I did was taking this apart. So I guess you could watch that one to see how to get that thing apart. Get that shaft swapped out, get your assembly back on, you'll be back on the road. I guess I should say you'll be back in the yard cutting some grass. But that is it. That's all you got to do. If you got any other questions, my squeaky chair, put them in the description below so everybody can read them. Uh, that's the problem with this. I got five different emails and if the first guy would have put it in the description below everybody else may have read that and they wouldn't have had to wait for me to get to these emails and answer them but uh, if you have any questions comments stick them down there hopefully I'll get notified I've had some trouble with my phone. I just got this stupid thing working again as far as emails. And I've got a bunch of them to answer. <clears throat> They've been piling up for like three days. <laughs> so I, I got like 65 emails to answer. <clears throat> but I hope that's helped. Just remember, be careful with the shaft. You do not want to mar that up. Because if you do... It's not going to shift good. Um, I guess that's it. This is going to be short and sweet. So I guess till next time, work safe, have fun, and let's cut some grass. We'll talk to you soon.